welcome 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 back to healthy living with christina's jangwa as always i'm just going to ask that you like share and subscribe as we go on this journey um, of sort of the behind the scenes of what went into me officially launching my business 23.9 evolve um <laughs> um everything all the tea all the deeds um about what exactly um was going down is in this video there are a few moments where i just um took the time to say something if i didn't i will like you will see clips throughout but at the same time all the like behind the scenes intricacies like the registering the papers you need and so on and so forth i would tackle in next week's video if you are if that's what you want to see so you let me know if that's what you want to see I'm just very excited to um finally be putting this out there my heart and soul is in this now i've been planning this for a while now it's been a, it's been a while and ideally it was just going to be like my online store and um i'll just deliver the items but then um in a more detailed video hopefully i'll share why it changed to being a physical location and so this is basically like that like what went into the behind the scenes of putting this up together yeah so in this show i want to base it in i want to in a chain and do my cows, but she didn't do it. I want to go so get him on the boom. The difference is what you found, but to the end of the one, I'm very on one. Okay, I know you can barely see me, probably barely hear me, but. Today is a significant day in this like business launch so I just had to vlog. I don't know why I'm laughing. Like it's not even funny. Anyway, so just had a meeting with the carpenters and another meeting. Like the first time I met them, they were like measuring and sizing up and whatever to give me the quotations. So that all that was like in the preliminary stages like i just wanted to know how much it would cost yeah because ideally what had happened was i had like um like the shop bucks for lack of a better term like okay start up money for the rent for this for that for that for that and um i had contingency but it wasn't much because i was so convinced that um <laughs> this is how things go at least that's what i had seen from what people were saying omg i don't even know how i'm going to pass because it's like so waterlogged <laughs> anyway so i was so convinced that that's what was going to happen when they gave me the quotations ideally everything was like still looking good like okay it wasn't great but it was good like it was manageable i had the money we could get it started like yeah because it's a tiny shop <laughs> i mean i didn't think it would be that deep yeah so that out of the way um they uh i had the trip to lusaka so i went to lusaka i got stock um which also i don't know at the time at the time of me shooting this the dollar was like i don't know approaching monthly and that's people put it so things were a lot more pricier but very proud of myself 
for sticking to my gun still doing it and whatever yeah so i got the stock i like what i have love it actually like i was just in such a happy place was also able to get a few things i needed for the shop just a few to my props this and that like i'm sure you will see when everything is done <clears throat> Now that I have dispensed the money, I need to start making it back, literally. So I need I need to like sort of expedite the whole shop thing. So that's why I met the carpenters. I meet them <laughs> and um, like from the unexpected stuff, for instance, the fire extinguisher, which I had no idea I apparently needed um was apparently like they, they come in like different gases and stuff which i'll talk about later in detail obviously but yeah so it was like three times the price i thought it would be for what initially i was able to do because it wasn't in the initial plan because part of the stuff not in the initial plan the whole council situation was not in the initial plan at least not at that level right anyway after that we uh talked to the carpenter people and i'm like look i need two quotations like there's a particular ceiling i want and just the og ordinary one across the difference no the og ordinary which i hate was more expensive so i'm just like wow crazy i was really hoping it would be at least a lot more fair because my biggest thing is with all the unexpected stuff i've run out of contingency and i just want the contingency back but no it seems like i was right like i had this gut feeling since yesterday that the more i work with these guys the more they'll be bringing up stuff that i need and it's also the part honestly i hate about working with them because and it's not even like <sighs> i don't know how to explain it you know i'm like complaining about pretty privilege or something it's not even like that but yeah i do know guys working together are more friendly than when they work with ladies like <laughs> they refuse to budge like not even the slightest discount and i mean i respect that like because there are families they have to feed they have to blah 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 i just thought it was crazy because i know if my husband was there which he couldn't be because he has back-to-back -back meetings and trips and whatever and this is part of being a big girl because i asked for this <laughs> um yes so i'm just going to trust god the same god that put this on my heart and has been with me through it all to see me through the last stages i was really hoping i'd stay within that fund and not have to go over already it's like 50 watcher over i know to someone that small but to me it isn't my goal was to really not affect any of the other projects i have running and i think that's not possible and my heart hurts <laughs> my heart hurts because of you know when things don't go necessarily according to plan but i believe that the yield will be greater than everything i've put in i'd like to believe that like because i have worked so hard i've worked so hard that i'm so exhausted these last two days have been so exhausting for me like you know being a big girl and the reason i'm doing this the biggest conviction for me is with how i've been feeling with being a big girl and stuff like no shade to anybody but like i just i'm doing this so that i can have obviously multiple streams of income at the same time to build myself so when in the future my kids are also dreaming like this and need help i'm able to at least do something to help because at this point it's not even like i can go to somebody for help i don't even want to go to my loving husband because he, all he's done is help <laughs> like all he's done is help i literally have to sort of like work with again my other projects which i'm sure you see like I need to sort of borrow from my other projects kind of situation and that's literally what i didn't want yeah but it is what it is i guess we clap and move that's today's rant with the buyer buyer said
next project was preparing the shelves but i needed to paint the walls first before they could put them so they would just like make them and then install them after i paint so I put them So whilst the shelves dried, I was able to contract the painter to come paint over the walls. Funny story, this guy charged me an arm and a leg and charged my husband like half the price. When I tell you these guys are so... <laughs> anyway, at least he was good at his job. At this point, everything was seemingly coming together. The walls were drying, the shelves were drying, and they were going to just come now, like fit everything to the walls. And I could at least start, like, yeah. Then at this point, also, I think I was just over it because, like, my first ranting video. Honestly, I was also emotional, look like finally seeing things come together. But at the same time, I kid you not, every day they ask for more money for something. Like I just, I don't know why, like every vendor did that. So yeah, just a heads up, but I like the progress. I'm actually in the middle of a workout and like sometimes I do it to music and sometimes to like podcasts. So today I was listening to Rich Habits, the Candace Nelson episode, like, you know, from small business to multi-million dollar situation because, you know, as you, by the title of the vlog, um, I'm launching one of my first ventures, right? So for me, um, what has stood out about what she said, so if I'm not even done, I just don't want to lose my trail of thought because the whole purpose of this video is to be to you some of the things I've been searching for, right? like that yeah so when i left my job the thing that wasn't easy was the constant and i i've said this before i think dealing with comparisons in my doing the comparisons video that they're called um concerned trolls sometimes it can even be i feel like sometimes even we make the mistake of doing that like i'm, I'm just talking to you because i'm concerned have you tried this have you tried that like try applying try blah blah and family was a huge part of that and i know that they care but sometimes it's because you don't like what i'm doing so you constantly keep hitting at it and you become um, an obstacle for me instead of the help you should have been and that's also something i had to learn i missed out on big people's like events and whatever because they're a lot like me i will cut you off from my life if i feel like i'm not being supportive right whether you know it or not <laughs> So my point is, um, she was talking about how she was an investment banker and blah, blah, and left that, you know, actually the 9-11 happened and she had no job and she decided to go to pastry school instead of business school and she was about to launch a business. So my thing is, um, she was talking about how in, in the investment world, she was one of the few women, I was one of the few women in my particular field, right? And she felt like am i retrogressing if i now start going into like baking and cooking and whatever like am i what am i saying about women because i finally like you know broke a ground and she realized like she was greatly inspired by martha stewart who you know was a boss in the pastry world in the domestic arts world and she realized that that was actually what was holding her down the bondage of e eh, let me just do engineering and whatever e eh, i can't be a stay-at-home mom and, and for me that was my thing 
I grew up with a mom. She's still working for the same company she was working for before I was born. Very hardworking boss, right? And so I have never known the concept of a lady. I've never known the concept of business. I've never known the concept of or some of these things I've learned, like I said, by friendship associations, my mentors, my husband. So for me, it was so hard, like because I had a huge confusion. I knew that I knew that I knew that I did not like how um the horrible mental state i was in with my last job so even if i were to get another job i needed something on my terms between me and god i needed something it wasn't about money because that job gave me money trust me like but it was horrible in terms of my mental space and i have a thing like as i was doing my donkey kicks it hits me like why those words stood out to me like that freedom the deliverance i felt to um stand my ground and not be desperate like hey people are saying i'm looking bad i'm tired of this phone because of people asking me when i'm getting a job and just go back right into that bad space um i knew my husband and i had a plan it may not have been foolproof it may not have been perfect but we had a plan and we had god backing us and that was my focus and it hits me that just now that i i'm i it's the words that i hold dear that i've heard um miles Manuel talk about talking about going to the grave empty and talked about how the graveyard is full of potential like so many people wanted to be so many things and they died with those desires i don't want to be on my um before i go meet the lord and i'm thinking oh i wish i did this and i'm recording this because usually saying things it makes it stick even more for me there are so many big things i want to pursue and i don't want to be held down because it looks and feels a certain type of way in society it's something i struggled with in my struggle period of august to november and i actually listened to a sermon in my podcast on on pod, the podcast deliverance from people by pastor daniel really helped me it's also something that we talked about extensively with my pastor that i needed i needed that and i don't think i was like that before but it was the constant like badgering and people calling me like crazy all you're doing is at home with the baby and whatever like what was the point of going to school what was the point of the degree like calm down i couldn't even tell people my plans that i was planning certain things in the background because you were not there you you were just closed off and it's something i did then witness because um obviously when it comes out everyone is happy and he's celebrating with you and i don't care trust me i'm not bitter i don't hold anything against them because even me putting myself in their shoes i'll be concerned like i said in my life update i may be evolving but not everybody's evolving with me so and i'm fully understanding of that so i love every single person even the ones who were acting like concerned chores but the biggest thing i wanted to say is that fear of should they would they da 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 it's holding you back it's okay i've tried so many other ventures before this my my business page was once called preeminent crown and i was just selling ponytails at the time it came and i practically groveled my older sister and one of the people who my therapist <laughs> as i like to call him were the only two who invested in me at the time who could let me put it like that not that other people didn't want to they're the ones who had disposable income invested in me and that's how i started and i've done professional decor before which is on hold because there's you know like i said big things big things my point is i'm grateful that i actually went out and tried these things like it's okay for you to i i'm saying this because it's one thing the w- one thing i disliked about the mental space i was in is also how much my job was siphoning out my ability to flow in my creative gifts this channel and my socials and content creation it's a bit cringe especially for a, a my booster you know like a pastor's wife like i should you know you, you gotta like i should only <sighs> all those like limitation and boxes are the reason why many people go meet the lord and they feel like they're filled with regret i wish i could have i wish i could have i wish i could have and i was just telling the lord as i was working out that i want to come meet you empty i want to come meet you empty like i exhausted all the gifts and talents you've given me so with the show practically ready it was on to the next stage which was just 
taking photos like of content and stuff shout out to the santa zero helper my man for getting me these mannequins is extremely helpful because i've purchased a lot of clothing from people very very recently that they model themselves and they come here reeking of body sweat i don't like that i don't like that and if i do introduce models it's because i've purchased the clothes <laughs> anyway so we went straight into like just taking the content and there's my very very helpful brother who i think got the biggest shout outs and then we finally went to move into the shop and this was a very devastating day for me because i don't know if you've noticed where the counter is there the mode is back yeah like less than a day it was back i don't like till now i've decided to just put it on a back burner i'll deal with it later because it's like thousands went in the water painting over that but that's business for you all hands on deck <laughs> and of course i'm grateful for the support i get from this very very supportive one of a kind man and it was d-day i uh, i just my man of god just told me start and i ran with it i just decided to go settle in that one or two things i still wish i could have done the whole point is just that you can die with just the plan just go out there and do the things and i'm very proud that on the first of march i was able to launch i plan to launch like on my birthday which is the 28th but i'm still happy that i had started and um yeah so here we are just officially taking the video to launch um, on all our socials, um, which is 23.9 on TikTok and on Facebook. Instagram has locked me out. I don't know why, but all that matters is we are out there and we are ready for you. Thank you to everybody for the support. Thank you to each of you for watching this. And above all, the major reason I took this vlog was to encourage you to go out there and start. Thank you. Bye-bye.